This morning we're in the city of Vientian in Laos. We yesterday decided that the flooding in Paxay was not going to improve so we booked a flight and we just got out of there and actually once we were on the plane you could see all of the kind of villages and countryside around Paxa was really really bad so there definitely wouldn't have been any buses to Vientiane for a long time so I think we made the right choice. To be honest we don't really have a big plan here we didn't actually plan on spending any time here but we've got a night bus out this evening so we're going to explore a little bit and see some of the sites that we can by foot. So right next to the river is the Chao Anuvong Park, which I think is named after an old monarch. Really pretty, really green, but quite small. And the other side of that, there is this, which is the Presidential Palace. It's a Sunday today, and it looks pretty quiet in there. And I think it's still a working palace, so I don't think we can go in. But it's nice to look at, and we're just gonna head off to the next site. So we've ambled across town, which took us quite a long time because it is very hot here. Quite the opposite of Paxa, it's not flooded, it's not raining. Um, but we finally made it and I really wanted to come here. This arch is called Patukse, which means Arch of Victory, and it's also nicknamed the Vertical Runway. That's because back at the end of the American War, the Americans felt pretty bad because they dropped loads of bombs on Laos. So they gave Laos lots of money and they gave them loads of concrete to build a runway at the airport here in Vientiane. But instead, the Laos people decided they would build this archway to commemorate their independence from France. And it's almost modeled on Arc de Triomphe in France as well, which I love. So I just kind of like love the attitude of the Laos people. So this is a pretty cool monument, I think. So we decided to walk up the Patuxe. It's only 3,000 kip each, which is about 30 pence. But all the way up, each floor seems to have like different shops selling souvenirs and clothes. And it's a bit weird, to be honest. We made it to the stupa here. Uh, found out that it was originally built in the middle of the 16th century when the king at the time moved his capital from Luang Prabang to Vientiane. They've actually got a statue of him right next to the stupa. And what's really impressive about it is that it's actually covered in gold leaf, so it's real gold, it's not just paint, but it really is so striking and bright, that real gold color. Inside the stupa they have this like walled area all the way around it which we're walking around because it's in the shade and they have all of these Buddha statues in here but they're all kind of like stacked up on dry bricks and then they've got pictures of plinths in front of them which is just like the most adorable thing I've ever seen. It doesn't feel like we've done all that much today but we have done a lot of walking around in the heat and that really takes it out of you. We also have our bus tonight and we want to make sure that we're prepared for the journey. So we're going to go to a little mini mart and get some snacks. 
because we're gonna be on there for at least 12 hours and judging by the pit stops that we went to in Cambodia if they're the same here then the food's probably not gonna be that good so we want to have a few snacks that we can go to and eat and then also make sure that we have plenty of water because it's gonna be a very long journey so we got raisins for me because kind of a healthy snack like it's kind of fruit Rob got some wafer biscuits and he also got Pringles I got these sunflower bars because they also looked semi healthy like they're made with honey and I trick myself that honey is healthy and then we just got a loaf of bread because we figured this is really filling worst case scenario this will definitely get us through Thank you. So as our final meal in Vientiane before our long bus journey, we're gone to a nice place called Lao Kitchen. I've gone for a red curry stir-fried chicken, and Jenny's gone for a red curry stir-fried fish. So very similar. They look really good. They smell delicious. Mm. This has got to be the best curry we've had so far. In probably all of Southeast Asia, like Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, because it's just so fragrant. You can taste all of the lemongrass, you can taste the curry leaves, you can taste the like hint of chili, it's not too spicy, they've balanced it really nicely. And they haven't gone overboard with the coconut milk either. I think sometimes they dial it down way too much and it just tastes too creamy, but this is so good. And it also has like the Thai aubergine in it, which is one of our favorite vegetables, and we haven't seen it yet, so we're very excited. Should we just sit one seat in front? Yeah. So we've been picked up to be taken to the bus station on this fun little like truck thing, which is adorable. Yeah, it's um, a bit like a sightseeing bus you might get at like a tourist attraction. I think he's probably going to pick up a few other people. Then we'll head to the bus station, ready to get on our bus which we are still very apprehensive about because it's going to be an overnight bus. We have no idea what it's going to be like. We've made it to the bus station. It's quite, it's quite a bleak bus station, I've got to say. He just dropped us off and said, go to the office. So we did that. They exchanged our ticket for another ticket. Uh, they didn't say when we'd be going, but we think it's 8 p.m. So it's now 7 p.m. We'll just sit here and wait, I guess. Can you just get up and then we'll let everyone by? So this is us for the next 12 hours. It's about five foot long, this bed. I've got some bow, we've got some water. The air conditioning doesn't seem to be pumping yet. Oh, there we go. So, let's see how we go. But it's gonna be probably pretty tiring, pretty uncomfortable. So I think we'll see you when we get to Luang Prabang. So we made it to Luang Prabang. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. We just stopped off and had a quick coffee and managed to book a place to stay for the next few nights on Booking.com. The journey wasn't too bad actually. I was expecting it to take double the time they said, make loads of annoying stops, but actually I slept pretty well. Rob had to wake me up and tell me that we were there. We didn't really believe that we'd arrived to be quite honest. Uh, yeah. It was a bit rocky to start with, it was very windy. And it we... was really bumpy. Yeah. And yeah, when you were rocking, the whole bus was swaying. And there was a point where I was clinging onto Rob thinking like, this is the time we're gonna die. But after a while, the rocking kind of just puts you to sleep and then it's fine. Yeah. But we're here now. We've booked our place. We're gonna find it, check in, and probably just work out what we're gonna do in Luang Prabang for the next few days and we'll probably pick up the next vlog there.